Okay, Alola trainers, and welcome back to one of my Pokemon Ultra Moon videos. I'm Ryan Tegan from Tegan Adventures, and right now at Mali Garden here, preparing to leave for uh, the uh, the observatory on Route 10, which is called a uh, what observatory is it? Uh, yeah, the the observatory on uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know the the uh, yeah the, that that observatory. Uh, I f shoot the the name is not occurring to me right now. But uh, anyway, uh, heading off to Route Ten, which is like this way, and uh, there is Lily right there. Hey there, Lily. Hi. Uh, oh, uh, you you're worried about Nebby again. <laughs> What do you think of her, the president of the Eighth, the Ether Foundation? Uh, yeah, she was pretty nice. Pretty nice, I guess. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, if you didn't know already, President Luzamine of the Ether Foundation is actually uh, Lily's mother. Uh, if you well, uh, because. Oh, I watched the anime, that's how I knew. Any anyway, uh Yeah, I, I I guess there's something to do with Nebi. Uh the Ula Ula ruins uh that are, that are located deep in a large desert. The Mali oh uh Uh, yes, oh yeah, Rotom Dex says that Mali Garden, uh, I mean, Mali Library is west of Mali Garden, so, uh, if I just head out, uh, to the west, which is the left side of the screen, and just, uh, uh I don't know where's, where exactly the library is, but, uh, Uh, oh, a anyway, that Lily's right there already. Uh, is that the library? Uh, uh. Well, that's Lily for you. The woman at the store did tell me where to find the library. Uh. So I guess you could say it was all for the best, uh... Oh, a Mudsdale. <laughs> oh, Lily. Oh, Lily. Oh, Hapu again. Uh... Well, Hapu... Wait, yeah, Hapu is actually the ground type trial captain uh, on, I believe, uh, Pony Pony Island, which is the island after Ula Ula Island. <laughs> yeah. That is, uh, indeed, Hapu. Well, yeah. Mali Library, uh, I wonder what uh, interesting things uh, this place has to offer. So, well, I uh, uh, saw Galeo and Lunala uh, Ultra Beasts. Then, uh, I don't know, uh, are they? Well, uh, I, I don't know.
Well, they fly on the Charizard. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the TM for fly. <laughs> yeah. That, that is a pretty interesting move. It's a two-turn flying type move. Uh, it's a, yeah, a physical move, if I'm, if I'm not wrong. <coughs> wow, actually, uh, I realized uh, in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, uh, and I probably Sun and Moon as well. Uh, there are no HMs. Well, uh, haven't found a single HM so far. And Fly, which is normally a HM, is now a TM in uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. So, uh, oh yes. And by the way, by the way, in case you're uh, wondering if you couldn't tell by my voice already, uh, I'm right now down with. Uh, tonsillitis so uh, uh, that's why my voice is a bit you know screwed up right now uh, yes so to defeat ground types use water grass or ice type Pokemon and moves simple type advantage uh, the old photograph a girl a mud a mudsdale and a garden oh is that Hapu uh, as Hapu uh, found the eternal fountain of youth. Well, each tapu has its own uh, resting place, I guess. Uh. Wow. Uh, well, I'm actually learning a bit about the Alola's folklore here. Yeah, I, I do know about the regional variants. Uh. <laughs> uh, a local Persian, the regional variant. Uh. Yeah, in, in case you don't already know what a lowland Persian looks like, uh, there it is right up on screen. Oh, and another totem sticker. My 40th one. Oh, Professor Oak wants to talk to me. Stop by here, here, beach. Uh, you know, I'll get there later anyway. Miss, uh, I don't know what your name is, but uh, yeah. The light of Alola. Uh. The empty sky broke asunder, a hole appearing where, ha where had been none. A single beast appeared from in it. It was called. It, it was named the beast that calls the moon. The king of Alola bowed before it, the beast that stole all heaven's light. Necrozma? Uh, the island guardians fought against it, but in the end, they lost the fight. Then did the beast, uh, did the beast that brings the dark, call the dark, call, uh, cast its paw. Uh, cast its paw on the line of kings, so that the beast that had won marked the path for all such such finished things. Wow! Uh, wow! 
piece of sun and piece of moon, through their union, they brought new life. A fragile heir had Alola in Alola born, that island guardians would keep from strife. The ancient kings sang their, th- their thanks for Lunala, Lunala with song of flute. Two tones rang out across the altar, a perfect pair, a e- ever after mute. Wow, uh, so wait, this, this little book here, uh, your dad's books, oh, the, the, those are your dad's books, uh, oh, Acerola, that, that name, uh, sounds pretty familiar, actually, wait, Acerola, Oh, Acerola, the member of the Elite Four, yeah. Uh. Electric type trials can only be. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, so, actually, yeah, that book that Lily just read, uh. So, uh, my impression of that book is, uh, wait, uh, there is a beast of sun and of moon. Possibly Solgaleo and Lunala, the mascots of sun and Pokemon Sun and Moon, uh, you know, clash together. Well, the Necro- well first it started off with the Necrozma stealing the light, and then the Tapus fighting it, and the Tapus lost the fight, so uh, Solgaleo and Lunala had to, you know, uh, create something by fusing together possibly a, a child? Uh, I don't know. And, uh, wait, wait, uh, yeah, I, I think this is where it all comes together. What if Solgaleo and Lunala's child is Nebi? Uh, which is Cosmog, which then evolves into either either Solgaleo or Lunala, depending on the game that you're playing. So that could be a likely uh, deduction from uh, the book the book that Lily just read. Tapus chose the Kahunas of the island, islands and trust them with sparkling stones. Wow. Okay, so well, uh, I guess it's off to that uh, observatory, I guess, uh, on Route 10. Wait, that, that here is Route 11, uh... Where's Route 10? Yes, Route 10. Oh, and a trainer battle already, eh? So... Firefighter Alex. Oh, an artillery. Uh, I, I might want to be careful uh, when I'm using my grass types on this because artillery 
does have access to uh, Aurora Beam and also Ice Beam, so uh, uh, going in with just going in with Leech Seed. Uh, oh, there comes Aurora Beam right off the bat, which is go almost gonna take up my block, my uh, petal. So, uh, I'm <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Anyway, just gonna go in with uh, my Halucha. Psybeam. Uh, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh shoot, is this another encounter? Oh crap, a Fiero. Uh, I mean, I, I can easily take this down with uh, my uh, Bodor. Just completely bypassing that train of battle right there. Oh, oh uh, wait, Team Skull grunts, eh? Oh shoot, is this gonna be a double battle? Uh, oh, ch oh, just uh, singles. A hound tower. Okay, so uh, yeah, uh, Halucha can take there, take 
take care of that uh, pretty easily, actually. You know, you could have just made it, made it a uh, double battle and uh, be done with it uh, pretty quickly. Oh, so now it's Bolbat, which I can easily deal with. Poison damage. <sighs> Dang, the after damage. Uh... Well, okay, I guess those grunts uh, ha have been dealt with already. And, uh, shoot, my uh, camera. Okay, so yeah, my camera just stopped recording again. <laughs> uh, and there's Professor Gakui. Challenge the league instead of getting up to all good, no good. Uh, cha the league? Uh, what? What's the? Well, I see. I assume it's the Sinnoh, like uh, the Alola League. Uh, yeah. The, uh, I assume he's talking about the Pokemon League, uh, which is kind of like a, uh, you know, a thing that has been going on at each each. Uh, generation of Pokemon where you know all the best trainers get a, gather to get together to just you know battle battle it out uh, you know to be the best of the best yeah oh yeah the Hokulani Observatory so that is where I'm gonna go uh, well before this video gets too long I'm gonna stop uh, this video video pretty shortly the uh, Hokulani observatory right there look at it in all its beauty and glory tallest Oh well, yeah, I, I do see that. Mount Lana Kila. Uh. Said to be the moon incarnate. Wow. Wow.
so wow, I, I'm surprised Alola doesn't actually have a proper Pokemon League yet, unlike like Sinnoh or uh, Hoenn. Yeah. Become the Island Challenge Champion. I've always valued the old traditions here in Alola, but it's time to make the champion the whole world will recognize. Oh, so, uh, uh, Alola, yeah, who's gonna be the champion? Who's gonna be the Elite Four members? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, we, we'll never know until we uh, completed all our trials and uh, climbed up Mount Lanakila. So, until then, uh, it's kind of a mystery uh, as to what is going to happen uh, next. I'm right here at the, at the observatory. Uh, Uh, well, who knows what's gonna... Who knows, actually, what this observatory has installed for us. Uh, I mean, in store. Uh, yeah, who knows, actually, what this observatory has in store for us. So, uh, yeah, with that, uh, I'm. this is where I'll be wrapping up my video. Uh, I'm Ryan Tegan, and... Uh, Peace out, see you in the next Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon video.